Micro gas stations in the Philippines and in America, there are states, cities, counties, boroughs or precincts. The Philippines has a similar system of government. They're just called different names. In the Philippines, boroughs or precincts are called barangay. The barangay, is the smallest level of administrative division in the Philippines. And the highest elected official in a barangay is the barangay chairman or captain. This is important and I'll tell you why later. While vacationing I noticed several super small gas stations. I asked my cousin to stop so I could get a look at this thing. They are micro gas stations and they're single owner businesses. The ones that I saw were in the front yard of their owners, which was strange. In America, you don't see gas stations in your neighbor's front yard. The maker says they're secure, accurate, fuel equipment. Micro stations come in three sizes. 600 liters 1000 liters and 2000 liters one micro gas station fuel system with built-in tank 600 liters capacity two split tank 300 liters slash tank 1000 liters capacity two split tank 500 liters slash tank 2000 liters capacity two split tank 1000 liters slash tank all tanks come with a free battery free fire extinguisher Free tarpaulin and sticker sign as the system is easy to operate, safe to use, DOE approved and registered. It's Japan Technology. The phone number is 0917-880-1117, Globe, their website is, https colon slash slash com slash so, how do you to open a gas station? 1. Write your business plan, 2. List your products and services 3. Gas stations are rarely limited to motor fuel. You'll often notice how many gas stations also operate as convenience stores. In addition to recording the number of gas pumps and fuel options will be available at your gas station, you should research additional products and services to boost your profit margins. Common products and services you'll see at a gas station include, snacks, drinks, car washes, air stations, tobacco, alcohol, and lottery tickets. 4. Register your business. 5. Secure funding. 6. Buy the property. 7. Secure a gas supplier contract. 8. Obtain necessary permits and licenses. 9. Get business insurance. 10. Market yourself. Earlier I said knowing the political chain of command is important. When deciding where you want to put your gas station is not just up to you. You need permission from the barn guy chairman or captain to build your business. The barn guy chairman must sign off on your construction. He or she can only allow a fixed amount of stations in his or her barn guy. This rule is totally different from stateside. Another thing, all your documents will go through this office. But the good thing is this. If you get approval no one else can build near your station. 600 liters capacity, 2 split tank, 300 liters slash tank seems to cost around $5,000 just for the equipment. That's what I have on the micro gas station. If you like this video please subscribe. If you have any comments put them in the section below. If you like this channel please subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.